so once we receive um, the cranioplasty protocol CT scan, um, we will then pop it onto the computer, which then will allow us to proceed with the rapid prototype 3D imaging. Right, so as you can see on the bottom right square, the 3D image is slowly coming into view. So we can zoom onto full screen. As you can see, this is the 3D image of the skull. It gives us a, a, an open window to what we're looking at. So I don't want to build a 3D image of the whole skull because I just want a working aspect here. All I want is a 3D image of the, the defect that we need to fill. So that now is the size of the model that I want to build on the rapid prototyping machine. As you can see here, we've actually got the 3D model after it's been printed. We've divested it, taken all the support material off, and it gives us a very, very accurate bony defect of the skull. Our next step would be to take this into the um, laboratory and start to emulate the piece of bone that has been taken away. Once the wax is all contoured and we're happy with the under contouring of the shape, we will take this into the plaster room. We start off with a flat sheet of the specified titanium and we start pressing it within the two part mould and this is done over a period of one week to two weeks and we have to keep revisiting the press and the the plate to cut it down slightly, adjust it, make modifications, 